Joshua Bassett was hospitalised in January on the same day of the release single, Why? Joshua Bassett has revealed the cause behind his January hospitalisation, explaining in a new interview that he suffered from septic shock and heart failure. Hi guys, we are back with you with some spicy hot tea spilling stuff. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Do leave a subscribe in the comment section and we will try to reach out to you as soon as we can. Let's get started. He told the news outlet he initially thought he had food poisoning, but his condition was actually something that almost killed him. I started getting very ill and it kept getting worse, the songwriter said. I thought it was like food poisoning or whatever. It got worse, it got worse, it got worse, it got worse. That's when Bassett was hospitalised after experiencing unimaginable pain. He was hospitalised on January the 14th, the same day he released his single, Lie Lie Lie, and a few days after his co-star, Olivia Rodrigo, released her breakout hit, Driver's Licence. Asset didn't get into specifics of what caused the septic shock and heart failure, but he told GQ, I'm sure stress had a part in it. The doctors told me that I had a 30% chance of survival. He said of the severity of the diagnosis, they told me that if I had not checked into the hospital within 12 hours, I would have been found dead in my apartment. Joshua Bassett shared health updates after hospitalisation. I'm feeling much better. During the time of his hospitalisation, the star was also at the centre of rumours that Rodrigo wrote driver's licence about him. Bassett told GQ he brushed it off because he didn't have any energy to be able to focus on anything but staying alive. Meanwhile, elsewhere in this GQ interview, Bassett said he was happy he recently came out as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. I stood behind every word I said, he recalled, of an Instagram clip he posted last month. The star said the moment gave him an opportunity to say something that I believe in and that he's at peace with his own sexuality. Even if there are consequences, I would rather much deal with consequences and live my true life than in fear, Bassett said. As far as the pressure to define one's sexuality, there are plenty of letters in the alphabet. Why bother rushing to a conclusion, he said. Sometimes your letter changes, sometimes you try a different one, other times you realise you're not what you thought you were, or maybe you always knew. All of these can be true. Bassett also said, I'm happy to be a part of the LGBTQ plus community because they embrace all, Bassett continued. Don't let anyone tell you love isn't love. They're the ones who probably need it the most. Whilst we're glad that Joshua Bassett is recovering after his horrible hospital experience and near-death experience, we wish him all the best and we're so happy that he's finally come into terms with his sexuality and his identity because that's also very important and we wish him all the best for the future. Let us know what you think in the comments and goodbye for now.